This is Sarah Morgan, teaching artist, and today we will be exploring symmetry and asymmetry by making alabrijes. Alabrijes are colorful, fantastic animal sculptures that were first made by Mexican artist Pedro Linares in the 1930s. He was actually not feeling well and went to bed sick and had a crazy dream about animals with different color uh, spots and stripes and different combinations like wings on horses um, and they were all shouting alebrije. From there he woke up, started carving into wood these little uh, animal sculptures and painting them. From there but they became so popular that they actually ended up in the movie Coco which you may have seen. Today we are going to be using a template that means the shape, printed shape, of the form that we're going to be using. We're going to be using some markers or colored pencils or crayons, whatever you have to color with, scissors, and either tape or glue, whichever one you have will be just fine. Friends, let's first talk about what is symmetry and what is asymmetry. So symmetry means that it's the same on both sides. I can look at this piece of paper right here and if I were to divide this piece of paper down the middle, I would say that it's the same on both sides. It's got these weird double horse bodies on both sides of the middle of the paper. Let's fold this paper in half and look at just one of these at a time. Get this out of my way. And explore if this itself is symmetrical. So let's look, if I were to take a marker and divide this body right down the middle right there. Do you think that it is the same on both sides? Let's look at it. I see the same tail on both sides. It looks like it's got the same four legs and general shape of the body. I can tell it's a horse on both sides. So the outline, I would say that's symmetrical, same on both sides. But let's look closer. Look at this line right here where the mane is. and Look at this line right here. Is that the same line? These are different. That means that this is asymmetrical or it has asymmetry. That means it's not the same on both sides. If I look closer, I can see too that the eyes are a little different. Uh, the ears are a little different. So while they're similar, they're not quite symmetrical. They are asymmetrical. We're going to be using this template. You can use both sides to create a horse that is symmetrical and asymmetrical and I will show you what I mean. I've started coloring both of these, one of them to be my symmetrically decorated horse and the other one to be my asymmetrically decorated horse. It looks funny now, but when we cut this out and fold it, it's going to become one horse body. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. This is a little decorated horse that I've already made that I've cut and folded. You can see it is both sides of the horse. So the first thing you want to do is decide which one is going to be your symmetrical and which will be your asymmetrical and pick your colors. I got started on this one a little early, so I'm going to now do some decorating. We want really, really colorful horses. And friends, you can add whatever you want as far as decoration, but just remember on the symmetrical one, I want to do the same thing on both sides. This is my symmetrical one, same on both sides. And obviously it needs lots of little pink hearts anything you want to do. Maybe some stripes on the tail. Remember, be creative, make it colorful. This is not a real horse. This is a horse from your imagination. It doesn't even have to look like a horse when you're done. Now let's flip over to the one that I want to make asymmetrical. I'm going to do different things on each one of these sides. Do some zigzaggy lines on one side, wavy lines on the other side. Maybe one side gets triangles. 
and the other side gets squares. These are just examples, friends. I know that you all are so creative and you will come up with your own really cool ideas. If you want to go back and watch uh, Coco, that's got some cool alabrijes in it. You can also look at pictures. So friends, once you have your horses all decorated, now is kind of a hard part, but I know you can do it. We're gonna cut these out. And you want to be really careful with the hand that's holding the paper. Make sure that you're really careful as you cut. And it is kind of a lot to cut out, friends, but I know that if you really take your time and focus, you can do it. Don't get overwhelmed and don't get discouraged. So you can see this is my asymmetrical horse. It's different on either side. This is my center line right here, which is really easy to see on the asymmetrical one. I'm going to flip my horse over and fold it in half with the design side outside. Try to line up those sides as best I can. It might not be perfect, but that's okay. Do your best. Here, got it folded, it looks kind of funny right now. But now what I'm going to do is open your horse back up after you folded it in half, and now you're gonna really make it look funny. You're gonna pick up the head and put a crease in it right where that line is, right there, the legs, like if the legs went right across the neck. Fold that back, crease it. Remember, a crease means that I put pressure on that fold so that it stays in that shape. Now you're going to fold it Back up one more time, about in the middle. See, I've got a crease line about in the middle of the neck there. Fold that up, doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. Now with everything still folded on the neck, I want you to pick up your horse, fold it in half again. See what I just did there? Let me show you. I picked it up and I just folded it in half. Hold on to your horse with one hand, hold your horses. Pinch that head with the other hand, pull it up. See what I just did there? Just pull it up like that, and then crease that again. That means I'm just pushing on that paper right where that neck is, and my horse will stand up. If I really want it to stay, I can either take a little glue or a little piece of tape and stick it right in the head there. And if it's glue, I'll have to hold it and count and let it dry. I can let it sit just like that. And now I've got my very own alebrije. Now friends, if you wanna add something else to it just to make it even more fantastic, really using your imagination, I'm going to show you quickly how to add wings. I actually have some scrap paper from another project. Any kind of scrap paper you can find, if you can fold it in half like that, Maybe cut a shape out, or you can even maybe just leave it the way it is. Cut out some little wings. There's almost no way to do wings wrong. I think that all the wings kind of look different. Either take a little bit of glue or a piece of tape. And just glue it right onto the back. Like that. And remember, this is our asymmetrical side different on both sides and don't forget to also cut out and make your symmetrical one so that you can have one of each. That my friends is our symmetrical and asymmetrical alabrijes. Thank you.